this is a huge mark on this channel, aren't we? We've 850 subscribers, Woo. we're now big enough to be entrusted with breaking net. <laughs> it's yes. true. This has happened. Somebody has sent us anonymous letters from supposed Centrelink workers, where, much like in that movie about Watergate, where the guy's in the shadow in the car park and goes, I can't tell you my name, but follow the clues. <laughs> <laughs> We got one of those this week. I'm not going to disclose anything about where I got the sources from, so you can tell straight off the bat that this has to be 100% true, what we're about to discuss. And by that, I really have to legally point out that this, this, this is not at all conclusive evidence, but still have to break it to you guys, because what an honour. Centrelink, right? You know how they gave out all the payments, uh, the... Uh, accidental debt collecting over the holiday period where they said to a lot of people that you owe them $20,000 when in reality they didn't owe the machine. Yes. Well, apparently we've got letters from people who work in Centrelink that say that that's the tip of the iceberg that apparently it is routine there that if a Centrelink worker detects that one of the letters that is getting sent out is not at all real as in that person doesn't know any money to send a link, their superiors tell them, just just let it go through anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think their objective isn't my my guess, especially after reading these letters. So these letters aren't official documents of Centrelink. So these are testimonies of people working at Centrelink. Um, my, from what I could read off of it is, I don't think they're even interested in getting your debt. What they're really interested in is making your life miserable so that you get off Centrelink. They don't care what you're going to end up doing. Just die for all they care. It's like they're going to make your life miserable to the extent that you're just going to give up. I think that's the point. Cause Do you think the reason why this was broken on a current affair as a result of that is because their audience would be going, Good! Centrelink is doing its job then. Yeah, because that's how they're <laughs> pitching it as well. They're just saying... Cause how the government is pitching this is by saying that, you know, these people have, they're dishonest people and they have um, undisclosed incomes and they're just preying on other people and hence they're sending these massive debts to these people who are like, man, if, like, you could, you could see that they're not, they're not like fat cats or anything, they're literally just, you know, hand to mouth people and a $20,000 debt is unsustainable for them. It's pretty shameful. That's Having said cool. that though, every single person that I know that is on Centrelink is moonlighting a job where they're <laughs> landscaping and not going to Centrelink. So the government is onto something there, but there is still obviously a lot of people. You can tell that a lot of those that are getting the $20,000 bills or whatever is because they've been on Centrelink for 20 years. Nobody willfully wants to be on Centrelink for 20 years, bar every single person they've ever interviewed on a current affair and you can tell that they ferret them out they don't even put out a net they have to ferret them it's a very specific hunt yeah and like man just principally the idea that you're targeting the weakest members of your society it's literally what it is you're going after like in those roman days you're going after the beggar that's on the street <laughs> instead of the aristocrat that's sitting in a palace like <laughs> yeah Nothing's changed. I was just recently reading on Roman history and pretty much the same thing was happening back then. Where every now and then emperors would purge people that were on the dole, which back then was just a bag of flour. And every now and then they'd be going, there's people claiming flour, they shouldn't be claiming flour. Just know that your days are numbered. Yeah, no, it, and whilst like stalking all of this flour in your... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. It's, you know, like, come on, go, let's go for the bigger yeah, fish. You own Egypt, man. Why do you care that someone's bagging a bag of flour? And what are you going to get by getting, like, I don't know, $5,000 off of someone that now has no money to eat? What was the point of that? And, you know, this is actually worse in terms of economics as well, because what this is going to do is people that were receiving these payments would go into malls and buy like you know Maccas and things like that if you're not going to give them that money they won't be able to do that which means your overall consumption will go will go down and that's not good for the economy either it's going to reduce your um 
the amount of money that you make in a year. Yeah, and crime goes up. Because if you can't eat, what do you do? You steal yeah. stuff, don't you? What Even the honest ones steal bread. Yeah. Go back to their convict roots, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty well shit. Yeah, because like if you target the the weakest members of your society, they've got nothing to lose after that. And that's a very dangerous proposition. A person that has nothing to lose will go to any means. <laughs> you know, if you target like a rich banker, he has a lot to lose. <laughs> he'll just he'll eventually just calm down and say, All right, I'll give you that hundred million dollars, it's fine. And then after that probably write an autobiography. Yeah. To exactly. make back some of that. The worst that's going to happen is that he's going to fund your opponent in the next election cycle and kick you out. But at least he's not going to be like burning cars and rioting, and, you know, like infesting suburbs with freaking petty crimes. Yeah, and on top of that, the other thing that it was saying in these letters that was being disclosed is that the automated system is faulty by design. That's what they're propagating in these messages is that they've purposefully made software that has bugs in it. It's pretty incredible, right? It's got to be one of the only inventions in history that is designed to fail. Apart from everything Mac, but I've, I own everything Mac, but, and I will continue to in the future as well. They do great products that last specifically three years and 20 days. <laughs> as counted. <laughs> one of the other things in these letters was that um, if, if, if someone works for a particular company, sometimes companies have subsidiary companies that have a little different name, but they're the same thing and they're the same employer. If that's your case, if you've got an, uh, an employer that has those two companies with around the same name, they're going to charge you twice for that income. Even though like, that is, that is crazy. It's one employer that's giving you one salary, but according to Centrelink and according to these letters, th that'll be two entries. Which, again, at this point, probably should re-stress this. This was a letter that doesn't have a name to it that was written out on Word docs. But, uh, you know, imagine if, imagine if another piece of layer to this already one-layered cake, so we're up to two layers now, I guess. <laughs> no, one, no one else has broken any news about this other than that. Yes. Which is amazing that we got the second scoop on one of the biggest stories in the country. <laughs> We're sitting on this couch and just... Allsworth. <laughs> talking to like a few hundred people and said, Hey, but spread the message. Spread the message, please. <laughs> I have got to new... get mad. <laughs> I am the new Julian Assange. <laughs> <laughs> Free Edward Snowden, please. Part of the same community. Yeah. Now. And why are you added free to that? Fair as well. Yeah, fair as well. <laughs> so stay tuned because I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a regular thing from now on. We're just going to be breaking new story after new story because that's where the new investigative journalists, two guys in pants that are clearly from uh, Just Jeans. <laughs> Uh, see you with more scoops. <laughs>